Welcome back, guys. Uh, France has announced a new contract for 26 tanks, so we are, of course, going to bid for that. Uh, we're not selling to Germany. Not a chance. A saturation tank. Minus 42,000. Uh, I think it's going to be the Pew Pew. No. We don't have a tank. That they like. What's the problem? Uh, let's see the pew pew. Protection and firepower hard is not good. So, must have reliable systems and modules, good mobility in broken terrain, as well as easily repairable components to properly swarm enemy positions. The, yeah, they want a small light tank. I think we need, so what about the, um, we didn't make a small light tank. Maybe we should design a small light tank. Uh, once we're done designing what we have now uh, or what we have going now the uh, Battle of Korim is done so let's take a look at that uh, yeah they won of course we had 9 Mark 1 Mark 1's now we have 7 uh, and penetration was okay and repairs were okay the rest sucked well the mark one mark one is a crappy tank uh, we knew that so the, the military equipment the kugelhan kanade new tank type adopted exploitation tank okay and there is our Tomcat Mark III done. So let's get that onto the proving grounds. Now we haven't really done anything with light stuff for a long time. We tried to make this House Cat series. Can we make Uh, a nice house cat uh, if we take the Daimler four cylinder the Whippet Mark II's it's gonna be a little bit of a sucky tank uh, the Chiro turret oh we can only use their machine guns then okay All right, so we need to do something with that. And then we can use the Hotchkiss like this. So I don't think we can get enough crew in here. So we want a driver. We want... Uh, no, you are a driver. You're a commander. And we need... Gunner. Gunner. And mechanic. No, uh, alright, so you are going to be a mechanic. And you are going to be a gunner. So, it can, in theory, be done. It's a little crap, though. But it can, in theory, be done. So, 
So I think we are going to try and do it, but not with this one. We are going to go to engineering instead and make some better components for it. So in here, we are going to remove you. And then we're going to go to engineering and assign you. And then we're going to do some stuff. Uh, let's do a medium whip it. Yeah, there's a lot of improvements that we can make here. Uh, the bolted assembly. Yeah, we want the ammo stowage. We want the site. We want the external comms. We want the internal comms. We want fuel stowage. We want the vision port OS4. We want the ventilation. Mark two, I think. Now let's do the ALSF2 because it's a little bit lighter. All right, hull hatch. It's definitely the Mark II. Hull door is the ALSF3. And then I'm not going to put tail wheels on it because they're heavy. And this is going to be the house cat. Actually, no, because this is just the the thing, the, the, the hull, the structure. So let's assign that. It'll take six days. We'll upgrade everything for this, and then we'll make a design. So we're not going to get that French contract, unfortunately, but it's fine. Oh, we need to research. That was the machine gun that got done. So that's good. Let's do the improved naval gun. Let's do the improved naval gun. All right. And a new battle between us and or the UK and Ethiopia. And uh, medium whippet mark three engineering is done. So we want to do a running gear for it as well. And yeah, I think we can upgrade this. Yes, we can. All right. So the idlers, we want Hmm. I think it's actually the Mark III that is the best. Yeah. Let's do the Mark III. Then we'll do the Mud Shoots Mark II. The sprocket mark four and the track inserts mark one. All right, assign that. That'll take three days. Uh, we have enough materials. 
So there, that's done. Let's go to engineering again. Then we'll do turret. We don't really need to do. We did. Oh, we did a new machine gun, the 1914 machine gun. So let's take a look at that. So this is one kilo lighter. And has the exact same attributes. Well, accuracy and range. This is rate of a higher rate of fire. I think we'll go with the Mark III barrel insert. We'll go with the Mark II or Mark III. The range is two there, so, and then we have accuracy, but here we get rate of fire up. We didn't take that for the other one, so let's take that for, for the barrel insert, so the barrel mark three, we took the range. Then the magazine, rate of fire, damage, anti-ricochet. It's just the best, isn't it? So the magazine, mark three, and then the stock is definitely the mark three. So there. Assign that. That'll only take two days. And there it is. Then I don't think we need to engineer anything else right now. Oh, and our research is done again. So that's the improved naval gun. Then I really want to do this petrol because I want to get to the V-shaped engine. So let's do that. And... Ooh, engineering bureau. Uh, we, we there is something else we want to do, I think, because we have these two. Which we can probably improve a bit. Let's see. Recoil guard. Well, the Mark III is better than the MLE, but, well, it improves depression and elevation, but it is a bit heavier. The Recuperator, and we're definitely going with the Mark II, because it's just better. It's also heavier. Gun Breach. Well, well, we'll go with all the heavy stuff, it looks like. Because it's just the best. And the optics. Mark three. Assign that. All right. Let's get that done. Then we can take you out. Put you in here, and then we are going to design a medium weapon, a house cat. The medium weapon mark three, the Daimler four cylinder, the weapon mark three running gears, the Shiro turret. The Puto Mark II. Oh, we're going to get heavy. The uh, weight 25, weight 15. 
We might have to go with the lighter guns here. All right, crew. We need a commander. We need a driver. And gunner. Gunner. Mechanic. We are not over the weight limit. But if we when we stick the expendables in, we might go over. No? They don't actually add to the mass. And we can't select anything there. All right, the paint. We can go with this camouflage. All right. And then, since we are able to put the 1914s in, that's what we're going to do, because they are just better. So there. Yeah. So we can assign that, except we want to call it the house cat. Mark two. Assign. All right. And that is a much, much better house cat than the other one. It purrs louder. All right, so that's done. Okay, so our uh, Tomcat is done with its trials. Tomcat Mark Three. So we need to fix all these problems. Let's go ahead and do that. Okay. Are there more? Uh, yes, there are two more. There we go. Structure. Improve that. Running gear. Improve that. And that's the Tomcat ready for action. Okay. The, f <laughs> the fame of all our tanks is negative. It's awesome. We're doing great. Except for the Pew Pew. The Pew Pew actually has four fame. So it must have been involved in a battle. When was the Pew Pew involved in a battle? Uh... We won't be able to do any of those. No, we don't have any French campaigns right now. Yeah, I know. I don't want to sell to Germany. American tank fever. The sight of rumbling metal beasts on the battlefields of Europe has taken the United States by storm. Already the army has ordered blueprints of the Renault FT with a first order of more than 4,440 light tanks given to American companies. Holy crap. Uh, the tank fever has also led to many projects planned to undergo testing in the following year by companies such as AS Holt, CL Best, and even the Endicott Johnson Shoe Company. Already observers predict interesting advances from the new continent, but will it be able to rival the old? Cool. Exciting. 
Right, our house cat is done. So let's test that. And I suppose we should test drive it as well. Yeah, we haven't actually test driven a whippet together. So let's uh, let's do a test. All right. It's pretty speedy. Ooh, but struggling a bit here. But it's fine. Now, the primary weapon is also just uh, a machine gun, really. Just a heavy machine gun, I guess. Holy crap. That is... Wow, that has some, uh, some firepower. That is awesome. All right. It's very maneuverable, which is lovely. Man, we're just gonna go use the main gun here on everything. Look at the maneuverability on this little guy. That is awesome. We took that thing out. Awesome. We took that thing out. I like it. I like it a lot. This is awesome. This has been the most fun tank to drive so far, for sure. I hope it can make it up the other side here, but it should, because the big heavy boys uh, can with this small four-cylinder engine so this should be able to as well come on you can do it or not right, let's just have a running start here why we're stuck why are you Turning that way. Stop turning that way. All right. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Turn, 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 turn. There we go. Let's get over to this side. Struggling. It's really, really struggling. It is not getting up there. Okay. Well, it was the most fun tank to drive. Now it's not anymore. All right, so that's as far back as we get, really. Pick up some speed. Come on, little bit, buddy. Come on, house cat. Nope. Come on. You can do it. Can't do it. <laughs> okay. It cannot do it. That is surprising. 
That is really very, very surprising. We won't do it. All right. I guess we'll quit out of that. We don't have to do the trials, luckily. So, uh, yeah. No tank for Greece. Battle concluded. Treaties. So right now we're just waiting for contracts. We didn't make the German or the, the French contract, unfortunately. But we should, because we got the improved... Um, improved main gun. Which is... I guess this six pounder. It has to be this six pounder. 164. All right. Well, this one is obviously the best one. It's a little heavy. Gun breach. Yeah, it's this one. Optics. Yeah. Recuperator. Yeah. Recoil cylinder. Yeah, the best one. And the recoil guard is the best one. So we don't need to make a new design of that. So, uh, so yeah, 164. It's better than anything else we have. So we could make a new design for the Tomcat. We could make a new design for the Tomcat. So, create a design. We'll use that. If we use the six cylinder, it becomes too heavy. So, we'll use the Daimler and the Warhorse running gears. The central cab. The combo sponson. And then the new six pounders and the new 1914 machine guns. There. Then the crew, we need a commander there. We need a commander there. And we need driver, gunner, 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 loader, mechanic, mechanic. And we are under the weight limit. So that's good. And tracer ammo, armor piercing ammo, that fuel, and this will be the Tomcat Mark IV. Yeah. Oh, paint. Uh, we want... Uh, let's go with that. All right. Assign that. And it is certainly an upgrade. It is an upgrade. So that's good. Military campaign. All right. You know, I just noticed that you can't put personal stuff in. But I remember in the demo, you could put in like a goggles and uh, pistols and rifles and stuff for for the person for for the 
for the crew. I'd give them uh, like uh, overalls and stuff like that. I wonder why that's not in anymore. Hmm. No idea. Okay. Military campaign between the British Empire and Portugal. Let's go and see. In Niasa. What do we have deployed here? Ooh. The Bobcat, Bobcat Mark IVs. Nice. I can't wait to see them in action, see how they do. And new tank type adopted by Sweden. We don't have any contracts right now, no. And the Housecat Mark II is done. So let's go to the Design Bureau. And knock out all the problems that it had. A lot. 13 problems. Let's amend all those. Okay. Anything else? Yes, down here. Amend all those. It costs some money, but it is what it is. There we go. No more problems with the Housecat Mark II. And it's a much, much better tank. It's actually better than the Pew Pew Mark I. Which surprises me a bit. Hmm. All right. Well, that's that for now. We're waiting for contracts. We still have plenty of money. We're not really worried about that. Uh, I suppose we might as well order some more supplies because we have the money. So let's just get... As much as we can. Well, not quite, but you know what I mean. Uh, high carbon steel, we'll get 5,000. And then glass, we don't need anything. But we want more uh, iron. All right. So there. That's that. Uh, achievements. Not that many. I don't really know how to get those achievements. Okay. Legend. Oh, that's that. Okay. Don't really need that. Game settings we don't really need. We know what the rest is. All right. Anyway, we are out of time. So uh, thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, why not leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.